All right. How you doing? I'm Jeffrey Keith with the Aimless News. And today we're going to take a look at remember when the Democrats did not like executive orders? Yeah, I do too. But first, let's start out with this. Flies are like potato head supporters. Even if the bee could explain to the fly why pollen is better than shit, the fly would not understand. Boy, ain't that the truth. <laughs> so let's take a quick look. And I'm going to go through these pretty quickly because you can do a search on your own and there's hundreds of these will come up. Democrats slam Trump's executive actions, critiquing both substance and legality. So, Democrats on Sunday slammed President Trump's executive actions aimed at providing economic relief. They don't want that during the coronavirus pandemic. That would might look too good for him, saying the measures are both ineffective and unconstitutional. They like to say that a lot whenever Trump does something. This was before the election. Democrats, here's back in June. Democrats criticized President Trump police reform executive order. Okay, there's another one. I'm not going to go through all these. I'm just pointing out the hypocrisy. Democrats in Florida delegation criticized Donald Trump's use of executive orders to help the economy during the pandemic. Remember this fucking idiot, Debbie Wasserman Schultz? <laughs> she was so bad, even the Democrats got rid of her. Okay, and then there's always trusty Nancy to give us some update. The president single-handedly decided to raise America's health premiums for no reason except spite and cruelty. Spite and cruelty. That's Trump. He's just a spiteful, cruelty bastard. Yeah, let's see what this Yoko has to say. Good evening and thank you for joining us. The day after President Trump signed four different documents on COVID-19 economic relief, both critics and supporters are trying to figure out what is possible and what is legal. Notice the same mockingbird, all the channels, all the people saying the same thing. Democratic leaders called the executive actions unconstitutional and said they won't provide necessary relief to Americans. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer criticized the president's plan to provide $400 in weekly emergency unemployment benefits, $200 less than the benefit that expired one week ago. All right, you get the point. They hate him when Trump does him. Let's see if it's any different when Potato Head does it. There's Potato Head. Nevada Democrats praise Biden executive orders on mass mandate, DACA, and climate action. Hours after taking the oath of office, President Potato Head Biden signed more than a dozen executive orders that address the COVID-19 pandemic, climate action, immigration, and more. They love it. What changed? New Jersey Congressional Democrats praise Biden's executive orders. Is that the word they hit there? Yeah, praise. See, they get they get the word, the buzzword. They praise Biden's executive orders. Two Democratic Congress people from New Jersey praised executive orders from President Potato Head. I am incredibly heartened that when in hours of assuming office, President Potato Head took strong action to heal our country. In the first few hours of his term, President Joe Biden signed off on 17 executive orders. In the first few hours, 17. Look at this. He don't even know what he's signing. This is not how government's supposed to work. We have a legislative body for that. It's called Congress. There are representatives. You are not the fucking king. We don't operate this way. You're supposed to go through Congress and have it legislated lawfully by a vote of our representatives. 
But no, Joe Biden decides that he is the king. He is the ruler of all of us. He is just going to sign whatever crap he wants to. And he don't even know what he's signing. I wonder if it says anything else in here. I didn't go through this. Our new president and this new Senate commence the okay. work of rebuilding our country and healing its wounds. So Schumer was against it a minute ago. <laughs> now let's head over to the Hill. He ain't done yet. By the way, I think from Clinton, Bush, Obama, and Trump, I think no, none of them did over 10 of them in their first 30 days. Potato Head, he's already done 30 of them in 48 hours. And he ain't done yet. Here are the executive actions Biden will take this week. Monday is Buy American Day. Oh, well, can't say I'm against that. Is expected to sign an executive over to directs agencies to strengthen requirements so they acquire goods and services from American business and court. Oh, well, fantastic. Hey, I'm all for that one. Equity Day. <clears throat> Tuesday, we'll see Biden sign a broad range of executive orders related to racial equity. A broad range of executive. <laughs> Listen. We're, we're, we're afforded equal opportunity, not equal outcome. You got to make shit happen yourself. You got to go out there and make it happen yourself. You're not awarded it. That's the problem with the generation that was, everybody gets a trophy just for participating. We're all equal. No, no. You got to have winners and you got to have losers. Wednesday, climate day. I, I don't Thursday, Health Care Day. Biden on Thursday will take highly anticipated action among pro-choice advocates rescinding the so-called Mexico City policy, which bans the use of U.S. funding for foreign organizations that provide or promote abortion. So we will start for funding foreign abortions again. The policy described as a global gag rule by reproductive health advocates was first instated by President Reagan and has been repeatedly rescinded by Democrats and reinstated by Republicans. <laughs> okay. Immigration Day on Friday. Let's bring them all in. Joe says, let's bring them in. He don't care. Piss on the American workers. Let's bring in a bunch of migrants. Since the COVID's gone, you know, we can bring them in now. So that got me curious. What have past presidents done? This is executive orders by year. Dwight Eisenhower, 1956. He did 60 of them per year. John F. Kennedy, 75 per year. Lyndon Johnson, 63 per year. Richard Nixon, 62 per year. Gerald Ford, 69 per year. Jimmy Carter, 80 per year. Ronald Reagan, 47 per year. The first Bush, 41 per year. Bill Clinton, 45 per year. The second Bush, 36 per year. Barack Obama, 34 per year. Donald Trump. 55 per year. He's stepping it up there, O'Donnell. And finally, Potato Head Biden. He's on pace to do 1,156 and one half per year. <laughs> that is not how our government's supposed to be run, Potato Head. All right. That's going to do it for today's edition of the Aimless News. Subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, because remember, the Aimless News must be told. <laughs>